What is going on guys? It's Real Talks Gmail here back with my second Unity tutorial and today we're going to be going over game objects and a little bit of the components. Alright, so first off what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to go to File, New Project. And you see here we have the new project and we have a bunch of .unity packages and these are called assets. And this is basically stuff that Unity gives you right off the bat like skyboxes, you've got standard assets, um, water, stuff like that. And we're not going to be importing any of that right now, but we always can import it later on if you so want to. So right here I'm just going to name it, just going to name it tutorial. Um, YouTube. Create. And it'll create a project. And there we go. So now we got a brand new project. As you can see in our scene here, there's nothing in our scene. And yeah we've only got a main camera. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to double click on the main camera and I'm going to set it I'm going to set its position as 0 0 0. And this is the transform over here. This is where you can set position, set rotation, scale it, all that stuff. And I'm going to go to game object, create other uh, plane. And I'm going to position that at 0 Zero, zero. There we go. So now, in our scene view, as you can see, we have a plane. And I'm going to bring my main camera up just a little bit. So now you can see in the game view that we have something here. And what I, I want to I want to make this plane a little bit bigger. So what we can do here is we can go over here on the top left corner. We have the move, the rotation, and the scale. And the scale you would just drag it, and it will scale it along that axis or you can just hold the middle and it will drag all of the axes out. So there we go. Now we've scaled it and if we played it we see exactly what's in the game here. Just a 3D plane. Doesn't even look 3D right now but yeah that is a game object. Now what if we had let's say a bunch of cubes. So I'm gonna go to game object create other cube and zero 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 and I'm just going to position that over here and then I'm going to uh, hit control D and that's going to duplicate it like control D and I'm just dragging these around but as you can see if we keep doing this on our hierarchy here it's going to get very cluttered up and we're going to have to imagine a full game we're going to have to have this huge bar that we scroll down to find one thing so what we do is we're going to create a empty game object and parent all of this stuff together as one so I'm going to go to game object create empty as you can see it created a new game object in our hierarchy and I'm going to name it level now what I do is I uh, click the cube and shift click all the other ones and just drag that into the level along with the plane and now everything is parented with the level. So now you see we have level and main camera. So it's a lot more organized. And if you hit the level and you move it, now you can see we're moving the entire level because all of everything is parented to one object. So that is pretty cool. Now, um, what we can do now here in order to put physics into our game. Now I know, you know, you shouldn't really learn physics until you actually have a good understanding of how to script and stuff but I'm gonna do this just so we can create a simple script so I'm gonna go to game object create other capsule and I'm gonna bring this like say right there and I'm also going to put a light because this is in our view here it's kinda dark it's kinda grayish so I'm gonna go to game object create other point light drag that up as you can see it created a light for us There we go. So now it looks more 3D. I'm going to drag that point light into our level. So now for our capsule, what we're going to do, if we play the game, nothing has gravity uh, associated with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the capsule in our hierarchy and go to Component, Physics, Rigid Body. And what this does is it adds gravity and stuff to it. So now if we played it, as you can see, the capsule fell and we can add more mass to it down here angular drag use gravity I don't know what that is interpolate 
constraints, all that stuff. So now we actually have gravity on our capsule. So that is pretty basic. Now we can go into, yeah, we're only at five minutes. We can go into something along scripts. So I'm gonna go in our project tab, create folder scripts. And you don't need to create a folder, but I like to make everything organized. So I'm gonna right click, create JavaScript. I'm just gonna call this test. So double click it, wait for it, wait for uh, mono develop to load up. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty it's pretty easy to right off the bat start with physics and all that stuff. So here's mono develop and whoa. What is happening here? Okay. There we go. Okay, so now as you can see, I'm just gonna delete that because we don't really need that right now. And let's say I wanted in Unity for this little capsule here to just spring up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a variable. So I'm gonna say var. I'm gonna call this force. Colon. It's gonna be a float and it's gonna equal, we'll say, 10. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm creating the variable force, then I'm declaring it as a float and e uh, having a default value to it. So now if we saved it, go into Unity, and we click the capsule and drag this test JavaScript into the capsule's inspector. Now we have a variable right here called force, and now we can change this to whatever we like. Now, if we played the game now, nothing would happen. But that's because we haven't done anything in here. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is in the update method, this is like the step event in Game Maker or a game loop within Java, stuff like that. What we're going to do here is I'm going to say rigid body dot add force. And I'm going to add force zero force zero. So that's the X, Y, and Z. So now if I played it. As you can see, it went up. <laughs> now, as you can see, it, it kind of fell when we when we went like that, but it did start to go up, and we can give it more force, like say twenty, and it goes up faster. But yeah, that that's a very very simple script. So that is your first script, hopefully, that you've done. Or if it's not, that's even better. But yeah, that is kind of the most simplest script you can get within Unity. So go and leave a like, go and subscribe for more tutorials and yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. I think I may go into mouse looking script and getting more stuff into it. But just just like to let you guys know um, how to work with physics and stuff. So yeah. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Hot, hot, hot.